Hey, 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 it is Mr. Francis coming to you for the next edition of Reading with Mr. Francis. Today we are going to be reading the second book in the Knuffle Bunny series, and it is called Knuffle Bunny 2, T-O-O, -O, which means also. And it is by Mo Willems, you know, one of my favorite, 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 favorite authors. And um, if you haven't checked out the first Knuffle Bunny, I would maybe watch that one first before you get to this one. You'll find that on my YouTube channel. Um, so watch Knuffle Bunny first and then come back and watch Knuffle Bunny 2. But for those of you who are ready to go, let's go ahead and read Knuffle Bunny 2, A Case of Mistaken Identity. One morning, not long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and I'll show Meg, and, and it's such a big book. I'm going to try and get as much as I can in there. Trixie's all grown up now. And then I'll show Maria, and then I'll show Jane, and then I'll show Leela, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and then I'll show Robbie, and then I'll show Toshi, and then I'll show Casey, and then I'll show Connie, and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brian, and then and talk, talk, talk. Trixie was excited because she was taking her one-of-a-kind one Knuffle Bunny someplace very special. Come on! Trixie couldn't wait to show Knuffle Bunny to Mrs. Greengrove and all of her friends in PK. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Sonia. Suddenly, Trixie's one-of-a-kind Knuffle Bunny wasn't one-of-a-kind anymore. Take a look at Sonia, guys. What do you see she has? She has a Knuffle Bunny, too. The morning did not go well. Knuffle! 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 The afternoon was worse. How are they feeling about each other? When the school bell rang, Mrs. Greengrove returned both of the Knuffle Bunnies, and the day got better. Then, before she knew it, it was time to go home. Trixie ate her dinner, she devoured her dessert, and she brushed her teeth. Now she's back home with her Knuffle Bunny. And try to escape the mommy and daddy robots from Planet Slurp. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in, ready for sleep. But a few hours later, Trixie realized something. Look, she's sleeping, sleeping, and then all of a sudden... <gasps> Trixie marched into Mommy's and Daddy's room and said, That is not my bunny. Trixie tried to explain... Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30 a.m. means. He asked, can we deal with this in the morning? Trixie's daddy went to the phone. So where is Trixie's Knuffle Bunny? Before he made it downstairs, bring, 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 the phone rang. We have your bunny, said a man's voice on the other end. I wonder who has their bunny. Well, we have yours, replied Trixie's daddy. Arrangements were made. Trixie. 
Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. That looks very similar to the first Knuffle Bunny book. Trixie did not want to be late. Neither did Sonya. There was an exchange and the Knuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonya. So was I, Trixie replied. Then they both said, I'm glad you got your bunny back. At the exact same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. Well, Knuffle Bunny, of course. The end. There you go, Knuffle Bunny two. Now there are a lot of different ways to spell the word two. There's actually three different ways. If you spell the word T-O, that means like I am going to the store. That is going to a place, T and then O. If you spell it T-W-O, that is the number two. Like I have two bunnies, T-W-O. And then just like how it's spelled here in Knuffle Bunny 2, that means when there's two O's, T-T-O-O, -O, that means also like I have Knuffle Bunny 2 or I like to ride my bikes too. That means also, that means that you have something that is the same or that you agree. So that is your lesson for today. Thanks for joining Mr. Francis on Reading with Mr. Francis. And this has been another Mo Willems book. Bye, guys. See